Welcome to Chew to Live's weekly sneaky food review. Our featured food today is the common orange carrot. You might be wondering why we've chosen such a familiar vegetable to feature this week. And it's partly because it is just so plentiful, it's amazing for your health, it's economical, easy to store, and let's face it, from now until spring, it's probably gonna be frequenting your dinner table quite often. So if you're like me, you probably don't mind having a few more ideas for incorporating more of this amazing vegetable into your diet. The common carrot originated in Afghanistan about 1100 years ago, but at that time it wasn't orange, it was purple. And in fact, very few orange carrots were seen until about the 15th or 16th century. After carrots were introduced into Europe via Spain by the Moors, we started to see orange carrots starting to appear, first in the Netherlands around 1700s, and it was around that same time that European settlers brought the orange carrot that we know today to the New World. Carrots have since become one of the most popular root vegetables consumed in Canada, the US, and many parts of Europe. They're most commonly used in their raw form in salads or as salads themselves, eaten as snacks, or even added to soups and stews. Carrots are probably best known for being an excellent dietary source of the antioxidant beta-carotene. Beta-carotene is converted within the body to vitamin A, which is essential for healthy vision, as well as night vision. But the benefits of beta-carotene don't end with eyesight. Recent studies have shown that beta-carotene together with other carotenoids and phytonutrients found in carrots have a significant ability to reduce the risk of developing cardiovascular disease. These same nutrients also play a role in inhibiting the growth of colon cancer cells. So take advantage of these benefits and eat more carrots. The dish we will be preparing today with our carrots is called potage crécy. It's named after a village in northern France of the same name and is synonymous with pureed carrot soup. The days when we made this soup in our restaurant, it was so popular that it often sold out before lunch service was over. So here we are once again ready to prepare our weekly sneaky dish. To make today's awesome soup, you will need one half tablespoon either extra virgin olive oil or avocado oil, a half a tablespoon butter or coconut oil, one large onion, approximately 400 grams chopped, two medium-sized potatoes cut into one half inch cubes, and one very large 1800 gram carrot or nine large carrots, whichever one you happen to have on hand, and we want those nice and thinly sliced. We are also going to need two tablespoons of tomato paste, two bay leaves, 2.25 liters or about nine cups of either chicken or vegetable stock. You can also use water. Today we've got some really nice homemade turkey broth that I've made up. And we'll also need one cup of half and half and two tablespoons of freshly minced parsley. With all of our ingredients prepared, let's get cooking. So first we're gonna heat our oil and our butter over medium high heat until the butter's melted and bubbly. Now it's time to add our onion. And we wanna saute the onion until it's tender and translucent. It doesn't need to be browned. So this is gonna take about five minutes. We can keep the heat up around a medium high heat. So it's now time to add our carrots and potatoes to the pot. We're going to stir these all in together. And while we're doing that, we're gonna add our two tablespoons of tomato paste. And just get that all nicely combined. All right, so right about now, we're ready to add our stock. And we're going to also add our two bay leaves. This, I'm just gonna give this a nice stir. Okay, it's probably gonna take about five minutes for this to come to a boil and then another 15 to simmer and uh, then we'll carry on from there. So now that our bay leaves have all been uh, accounted for, it's time to go ahead and puree our soup. 
I'm going to be using a, a hand blender, which works really well for this. So you want to go ahead and puree this until smooth. Once we have our soup pureed, it's now time to add our half and half. So we're going to stir this in. Now, depending how thick you like your soup, a potage is normally a fairly thick puree. If you want your soup thinner, now would be the time to do that, either adding a little more stock or a little bit more water to get the consistency you like. Then I'm going to add a little bit of sea salt and as much black pepper as you like. Now after I've done this, I'm going to stir it in and then taste it again to see if the seasoning needs to be corrected. Now this is looking pretty good to me. I think we're just about ready to serve. So now our soup's ready and I don't know about you, but I'm getting pretty hungry. So let's serve up some soup. And add a little bit of chopped fresh parsley. And there we have a lovely bowl of potage crécy. The recipe for today's soup is available online at chewtolive.com. At Chew to Live, we're passionate about good food and healthy eating. If you've enjoyed this week's review, please share it with your friends. I look forward to seeing you again next week. Mm -hmm.